with everybody. Thanks for tuning in. We're out here in North Conway again, riding the Hurricane Mountain Trail system. But this time, we're on an e-bike. I got a Giant Stance E Plus. It's essentially a trail bike. Comes 130, 120 millimeter, but I threw a 140 mil pike on the front. Slackened it out a little bit. Gave it 10 mil extra travel. Does great on the trails at home, but today, we're trying to find out, can you get rowdy on a short travel e-bike? So we're gonna do this climb up Kettle Ridge, which is clearly a breeze on this e-bike. And we're gonna descend on Sendero. But look at this. This is some of the new uh, trail work. Just kind of turned Kettle Ridge into a climbing trail, I was told, and it kind of looks that way. Nice and smooth. Drainage. Wow. Nice job riding Oko. Look at this. Look at rail berms uphill. Who gets to do that? Oh man, this is something else. Thank you, Yamaha. Off camber. Wow, look at this trail work. Something else. All right, back into the single track. Tech climb. Still not. No big deal. Switch backs. Woo! Sick. <sighs> My take on e-bikes is you're gonna get the same workout but you're gonna get more you're gonna go further you get more miles a short amount of time that's how i feel Rocks, camber uphill. So this e-bike came equipped with a Yamaha motor. And that's my only perspective. I've never ridden another one. This is the first one I've rode have any complaints about it I'm interested to see what the other brands are like from what I hear the Shimano step system is pretty great also but you know what if you're helping me climb that's all that matters Gears going uphill on a climb. It's crazy. So, here in New England, we had a lot of rain this week, and it doesn't look too bad out here. I expected it to be wet. Oops, and the arrow looks the same way, and we should be able to rip. We made it. Take a look, 14 minutes, 30 seconds. Unreal. 
gotta love it. And it's not like I didn't get a workout. You could probably hear my heart pumping through this GoPro. All right, here we go. I'm gonna uh, tone this down a little bit. I don't think we need any help with speed on this one. Let's do it. Okay, so I am a little ill-equipped when it comes to travel numbers. We know that. It's wet and I'm by myself. So I'm gonna try to ride conservative. So no judging if you're watching this video. Oh yeah, she feels good. Oh yeah. Right. It's definitely not my Capra. She's doing the job. Whew. Oh yeah, this one's rowdy, woo! Oh yeah, and the roller, forgot about this guy. Oh yeah. This Pants E Plus does it. With a QR axle in the back too. I mean, who even builds bikes with those anymore? But, I'm definitely not charging like I am on the Capra, but I mean, it gets you out here, it gets you climbing. Rip a Sendero lap while my family's at the campground. Under an hour, climbing in 15 minutes. Unreal. All right. Whew. Rudy, rocky, wet. Bike takes it, does it. Oh, here's the wall that all the bros like to hug. Yeah. Wow. All right, guys. That's pretty much it. It's Kettle Ridge Climb, Sendero Descent. All in under what? All in under 20 minutes. Look at that. Up and down, 20 minutes. Just taking a break, drinking water at the top, talking to you guys. Unreal. I almost forgot to answer the question. Can you get rowdy on a short travel e-bike? I think the answer is moderately. You can get moderately rowdy on a short travel e-bike.